Yo, welcome to another episode of Astro Oil Repairs. We're in the middle of this pouring rain, and we got a customer vehicle here that needs an uh, alternator. Uh, 2003 Jeep Liberty Sport. So uh, we got no pretty much choice. I got the I got the camera inside of like a shed, and I'm out here working on it. But listen, I ain't got time to talk. Let's get this done, man. Dang it. Uh, first I get this problem with the Kia, and now this. Alright, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hook up a little light so you can see it better. And I'm going to I can adjust the camera so you can get a better angle at the alternate right on top. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, let's see what I got here. First you want to get you a 15mm socket, a 3 8 drive with a wrench, 3 8 wrench drive ratchet, I mean. Alright, let me hear we go out here and show you this real quick. Got to take off the belt first. Alright, we go out here. We got our adjuster right there. So we want to put our socket on. You want to go clockwise. And as you tighten it up, the belt gets loose, as you can see. And just try to take it off just on the alternator and leave everything else connected. I'm doing this with one hand. I am good. All right. Loosen that back up. And I'm going to leave my ratchet right there. So when I put it back on. All right. Let's do it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we got to pop up this little cap right here and try to get this off without taking off that, uh, there we go. Alright, that's like about a 13. Let's go check that out see if that's a 13 millimeter. Get over here. I got my tools here today. Man, this, you know, it's tough being astral. Alright, back out here. This is a 13. Yes, it is. And actually, you might want to get a wrench. Might be even better, uh, yeah, if you don't want to remove that uh, air cleaner, air box. All right, so uh, you know what? Let's get us a 13 millimeter wrench and get you a, a rag or something to wipe this off so you don't have to disconnect the battery and um, lose all the radio stations and all that, all right? So let's go get a 13 millimeter wrench and a rag, all right? Be right back. All right, I'm going to leave the camera inside, inside the shed. There's our alternator. All right, I got my 13 millimeter wrench. Got a little stubby one, but good. You got a longer one, it'll be good. Be very careful not to touch anything metal when you're doing this. What you wanna do? Get that nut off there. Get our rag, wipe that, back that up, make sure it's out of the way, bend the wire, out of your way, that's out of the way. Now we got three bolts holding this whole thing on. Let me see what size we got here. Go. 15, a 15, and a 13. All right, so we got us a deep 13 millimeter socket, a deep 15 millimeter socket, and uh, we've got us a ex four inch extension here. All right, so I'm not gonna use my extension on the first, let me see. 
Matter of fact, I might have to use extension on both of them. Let's start off with our 15 millimeter. All right, let me get the ratchet. Let me get you a close up. All right, we'll be right back. All right, I gotta take the cam off the stand to show you this part right here. Um, we're gonna go out here. Okay, we got one, two, and three bolts. Two 15s and one 13. All right. So let's go over here. Set you up. And the first thing I want to do here is get to those two 15s. Um, yeah, sorry for the can't really see this too well because how far can this camera go up anyway? Let's see here. That well, might be pretty good on that. Let me set this up better. Hold on, grab back. All right, I'm gonna go out here and get those two 15 millimeters. Yeah, what up with my ratchet? All right. Got both of the bolts out. And what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and quickly show you. All right, got the two. One is really long. I'm gonna put that on that side, and then the second one is shorter. And put this on the other side up here on the cowl. Now we got this 13 millimeter bolt that's up here. Watch out for that wire now. All right, so let's get our 13 millimeter. I think I'm going to use an extension on that to get that out. Give me a little screwdriver or something. Right back. All right, I got me a pry bar. It's like about a about a foot and a half, 18 inch little bar. And let's get back close over there. All right. Well, what I'm gonna do is pry between the alternator housing and uh, and the alternator bracket. The bracket is under here. What I'm gonna do is just wiggle it. You know what, this thing is in the way, so what we're going to do is get this thing out of the way and then bring it. Now, you know what, let's make this easier and get that air cleaner out of the way. Be right back. Alright, so we're going to just lower this camera a little bit. And uh, we're going to remove this, get this air cleaner out of the way. And what we got, there's a clamp right over here in the back. Flat screwdriver. Let's loosen that clamp up. 
Okay. Let's go set our camera back up. I know that it had to look dizzy when you saw that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get this out of the way. Like it sets on little grommets back there, up under there. You know, well, you know what? Let me see. Maybe I can get that opening out of there. Now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's I'm gonna turn the alternator over. Make sure you can see it. Can you see that? Alright. Now we got a plug on the back. We're gonna squeeze that tabs in on this, on this plug right here. I'm gonna squeeze that tabs in and it should unplug. There we go. All right, let's take this alternator out of here. Set it down. I'm gonna get a little flashlight here. I'm gonna show you uh, on this um, grommet thing I was talking about. See, there's a grommet right there and a grommet right there. So the thing, the air cleaner just pulls back. All right, so let's go get our new alternator. All right, here we go, we got our new alternator here. Remy from Fisher Auto Parts. Um, you guys want to check out a video that I'm about to do comparing auto parts stores at parts. That's going to be coming, that's going to come really handy. Um, well, you know, you know, my favorite is Fisher. <laughs> All right, uh, let's bring this alternate over there and um, let's get it plugged up. All right, bear back. Okay, you see I got my alternator cell there. Again, that's a Remy. So you definitely want to get you some good quality parts. All right, first thing we want to do is turn it upside down, just like we did the other one. Just connect it. It's not connecting in there. Make sure that, look at that, my little rag came off of here. I want to make sure this stays connected. You know, you want to be, if you want to be safe, disconnect the battery. I'm very confident in this. All right, let's uh, get our alternator set in there. Uh, oh boy, man, it's starting to pour out there. All right, let me take a break and I'll come right back. All right, to get off, uh, I want to show you something here. Now the back of this alternator, see that bolt, that nut right there? That's what you're going to be putting the long bolt in. That bolt is actually like a sleeve. So as you tighten up the alternator, that sleeve goes in and tightens up. That's why it's so difficult to uh, come out. So you want to make sure that that sleeve is pushed all the way back. And usually they do do that when they rebuild the alternators. All right. So let's get back over here. Let's plug it up. All right, make sure you can see this. Now, make sure again, make sure the wires are out of the way. Set this down. Just like that. Uh, dang, I need to put something on this. this all right as you can see I got it in there and what we're gonna do is we'll get our longer bolt first that's the bolt that goes right here we're gonna put that bolt in there 
just put in by a couple threads. Now we got our one over here, which is right here, the shorter 15. It's going to go right in there. All right. And then we got our 13 over here, 13 millimeter. And that goes right back there. Now what you want to do first, see this hole over here is kind of kind of big and that's that's good so what you're gonna do is tighten up these two first and then we're gonna tighten up that other one all right so let's set you down right here and let's tighten up those uh, two the 15 first Notice how I'm going back and forth. I'm not uh, just tightening up the one. I want to make sure that, um, that the threads and everything is going in. You know? Put it on both. Huh? Now this one is going to start getting tight and what you're doing is pulling that sleeve up and keeping that alternator tight. Alright? Don't worry you ain't doing nothing wrong. Alright, let's get out of the extension. Our 4 inch extension, 13 millimeter socket. Let's tighten up that one in the back. get my wrench let's tighten that up and when you tighten yours up come back and join me okay I got that tightened up and I hope you got yours tightened up too next we're gonna flip that clip over protect it make sure you have that connected up here have that up there yep, that's, a, that's a hot wire right here you definitely want to have that the next thing we're gonna do is get our 15 millimeter for our, um, put our belt back on, and uh, let's see if I can, um, pour rain out here, uh, ah. alright, let's go over here real quick, notice how your belt routine is on this, and here's your tensioner, now to put that back on it, you're going to have to go clockwise, and uh, watch what I mean, Alright, so you go clockwise. See? Then I'm doing that. Alright. Let's see here if I can set this camera up just for a second. And put tension on, hold your hold hold the tension on the belt. Make sure all the pulleys are lined up. Put tension on it. Just enough to get it over that alternator. done I also you know why you, I should have told you um, when you take that belt off look at it for cracks or anything if they have cracks that'd be a good time to replace it this one's pretty good condition all right let's put our air cleaner back up there and tighten that clamp up Get our 
flat screwdriver. All right, we're all done. Let me go get me a multimeter so we can check the battery voltage. And uh, as, if you look at the other video on this, um, actually this is to fix a code P1491. Um, because the battery voltage drops so low, that code will trigger. So we're going to the bat, uh, get the multimeter, check voltage, and at the same time, we're going to let this car run, clear the check engine light, and uh, make sure everything is good. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. What I got here... It's a multimeter. Um, it does all sorts of things, but I'm needed to check battery voltage. All right, check this out. Let me, uh, let me get out there and look at the camera, because I like to look at people when I'm talking to them. <laughs> all right, battery voltage is 12 volts. Once that alternator kicks in, or as soon as you start that vehicle up, you should be looking at at least 13, 13 and a half optimum. And the more stuff you cut on, uh, that voltage will go up. Um, maximum of 15. Now, if your thing is charging at 15, something wrong. Uh, you, you got everything on, you got a high performance system in there, then you're going to need a high amp alternator. But what we're going to do here is uh, cut our multimeter on. Right now, we're looking at 12 and a half volt, volts. Um, I know that's a very good battery, even though the old tail light was coming on. If you check that video out when it warms up, um, because you see that battery, right? You see what that let me see, let me make sure you see. But I need you to see this now. That's right, you see the name in that battery. That's right, we put that battery in there uh, a while ago. It's federated, even after all this, all this time, man. Even, all, even though the old tail went, that battery was still holding on. <laughs> all right, let's start this vehicle up. it was bad I mean the battery was it was charging off the battery but the battery was trying to hold its own so now the alternator is gonna have to put out a little bit more to charge that battery back up let me go out here real quick as you can see it's at 14 volts now as it charges that battery up it's gonna that voltage is gonna drop all right so let me warm that up a little bit and what we're going to do is go inside and clear this check engine light. All right, we're sitting inside the car. What we're going to do is go up under here. The diagnostic connector is right here to the right of the steering wheel. Uh, let's plug it up. All right, I'm going to shut this car off. Let's put the key on. Okay, let's go on to, let's see. We got a domestic vehicle. Chrysler, truck, 03, Jeep, Liberty, 2.4. We'll keep that. Enter uh, diagnostic codes. It's going to be the 1491. Uh, Actually, it's going to show two. Uh, 1499 and the alternator was uh, low unless the alternator went away now, but you know just again check out that video P1491 under this Jeep See charging system low Volts and the P1491. So what we're gonna do is go out of here erase the codes Okay, now if that 1491 come back then fine we'll, we'll check it out then but um if one of the main reasons why that code will come on is because of low voltage, under 11 volts, <laughs> and we got a bad alternator, <laughs> you know, self-explanatory. All right, let's disconnect this. Start our vehicle up. All right. I'm um, kind of figured the check engine light would be out, but um, let's, let's, let's let this thing it's starting to warm up. That's good. Uh, and uh, if you check out that video, you're going to see we were sitting here just like this and the light just, the battery light just popped right on. 
<laughs> so we're looking good right now and we're almost at operating temperature all right let's um let's go out here and remember the voltage was at 14 14 point or i don't know what it was something like that go back on the video check it out let's go see what that battery voltage is right now and this whole thing is still trying to charge it charge it but let's go check it out all right we have 14 15 20 it's, it's dropping down slowly uh, but it, it, it was running for a while <laughs> like that. So that old thing is charging this battery up, doing its job. That is good. All right, so let's you know unhook our connectors here. Put our cover back on. Shut it off. All right, dang, dang. All right. And as I said, this is a continuation video of the P1491, but the number one thing was check battery voltage. It's starting to rain a little bit heavier out here. Um, any questions, be sure to post them. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Take it easy. Stay safe out of this weather.